All right, ladies, let's get this party started. Joy, if you don't mind starting off with a little bit about your story, who you are, so we can really connect with you and then go into your topic of creating successful referrals. Yeah, let me do that. Hold on a second. Let me share. Are we going to record? Are you recording? I am recording. Yeah. Okay. Let me share my screen real quick. Okay, guys. All right. Um, this is my, whoops, we don't want you yet. We'll minimize you. I could honestly, like this call could be like less than five minutes, but that would probably do us all very little help. So I'm going to try to give you some why behind what I do. Um, so that might motivate you to do something maybe a little bit different or help your team a little bit differently. So um, but, uh, like Brittany said, I want to start off by just introducing myself because I know, um, it's so weird. Like we've been on this journey together for quite a while and yet we don't know each other's stories <laughs> necessarily. So I did want to start off with that so you guys can know where I'm coming from. But, um, so I'm a mom of boys. Um, I've been a coach for, um, over two and a half years. Um, and I said no to this coaching gig for seven years. Um, I was on Stephanie Richardson's uh, dream team list, but because of a bad experience in my 20s with network marketing, I was a no way Jose kind of girl. And so she never bugged me, um, but I did watch and I you know, was happy for her success. But honestly, I had no interest in Beachbody back then when she asked me to be a coach. It was called Million Dollar Body. And she had this thing on her car and it was all like, it just seemed really weird and I just did not understand what the heck this was all about. So anyway, um, fast forward seven years and our family went through back to back to back, to really back <laughs> medical whammies, which kind of humbled me to be a little bit more um, open to things concerning health. It started with my youngest son who at the time was in elementary school. He was diagnosed with a papilledema, which is a swollen optic nerve. And people don't like to see swollen optic nerves. It typically is an indicator of something like a brain tumor. So all the sirens went off and we had MRIs and spinal taps and medication and a whole year of trying to figure out what was going on with this kid. And to this day, he is like an anomaly. Like no one can figure him out. We're just under kind of this wait and watch. Um, you know, they don't think it's a brain tumor, thank God. And so, you know, literally he just, has to go to a specialist every six months and you know um but he's doing great but that did kind of freak us out as you can imagine um a year after his diagnosis my husband was testing for his black belt test uh in american karate and he had a short circuit in his heart that nearly took his life um he almost died we were care flighted from one hospital to another three days in icu um, determined he had a severe atrial flutter episode, which um, nearly took his life. Uh, and he had an ablation on his heart and is doing great and is in the best health of his life. Um, but it was a certain, um, certainly a scary time for all of us. And uh, my friends were talking about how are we going to take care of joy when Andrew dies? Um, and then a year later, you cannot make this up. I was uh, diagnosed with breast cancer. Uh, it was early stage. Uh, no family history was detectable only by mammograms, so I'm a huge advocate for being um, on top of those exams, ladies. Baseline at 35 and every year after 40, please. But um, we were super aggressive uh, with our treatment, and so I had a bilateral mastectomy and reconstruction surgery, and thankfully it was a super early stage, so I didn't need anything beyond that. However, um, I probably was self-medicating. <laughs> with food a little bit mama came and made some awesome homemade casseroles and stuff so i mean who wouldn't right so i stood in my closet and was um very frustrated with the fact that none of my clothes fit and i didn't really feel like going out and purchasing new clothes at a different size and i just felt frumpy um and i compounded that with a, a career that had kind of maxed out there was no room for growth i really kind of felt like you know, kind of this racehorse that was stuck at the gates and not able to really run a race and kind of watching everyone else run around the track. And so um, I had no idea, but coaching would find me right at the perfect time. Um, on the heels of my breast cancer diagnosis, my oldest son started um, wrestling with depression and anxiety. So 
our whole family has had their journey. <laughs> and um, it was on the heels of my surgeries that Stephanie posted she, something about Pio. She was in the test group and had this rock and transformation, had abs. And I reached out to her and I said, hey, I don't know what you're doing, but I think that looks honoring um, and I want to join. And I joined as a customer. Actually, I joined even with the deluxe kit. Like she sent the wrong link out. So get this, like I bought the deluxe kit and then she sent an email saying, oh, whoops, there's no Shakeology in that. And I was like, whatever. So I bought Shakeology on top of that. And I shared about it on Facebook um, because I was very open with my breast cancer journey. I had three people from my church want to join me in the challenge group. So I forwarded them to Stephanie and she said, well, um, I can take the referral or you can have the referral. Which would you prefer? And so I said, well, oh my gosh, we have so much medical debt, like 150 bucks would be the biggest blessing in the world. So, you know, let's do that. She's like, great, you can sign up as a preferred customer. So I go to the website, I fill out the form, it says coach. <laughs> and I'm like, dang it, seven years. And she got me, like she totally tricked me, you guys. So um, I signed up as a coach and I had no intention of doing anything with this but she sent out a link uh, to the Coach Academy, to um, Coach Basics. And so being a leadership nut that I am, I was curious about what the training was like, and so I jumped in, I did the training, I didn't think it was hard, I could see myself doing this stuff on social media, so I was like, well, why not just, why not just give it a try? And so, my husband and I started talking, I'm trying to close this out. My husband and I started talking about how, hey, what if this is um, God's way of redeeming all this crap that has happened to our family? What if we could help reduce cancer risk? What if we could help a mom love and feel, love how she feels and looks? And so we decided to be all in for a year. That was our initial commitment. Why don't we just go all in? I mean, and I'm talking like, I'm going to act like a superstar diamond coach. I don't know what that is, but I'm just going to like follow the best of the best and emulate them and then reevaluate in a year. And so six months in, we um, knew this was like the biggest blessing in the world for our family. We didn't have to reevaluate anymore. We didn't have to set time limits anymore. Um, but we did go all in, you know, full blaze, like any training group I could be in, I was in any, you know, push group I could be in, I was in, you know, and I didn't even know. I remember Stephanie like invited me to this push the diamond group and I was like, what the heck? She's like, well, congratulations on achieving Emerald. Do you want to go to, you want to be in this push the diamond group? And I'm like, I don't even know what Emerald is. Like <laughs> we just, we just kind of like made a big mess. So anyway, one of the ways that I have um, expanded my business and helped coaches on my team take their very first steps is through this type of referral process that I'm going to share with you. Um, it does take a lot of work. Um, and I always give the warning. Um, if you've, if I've done a team call for you, you know that I kind of talk about this a lot because I think the more we understand it, the more successful we will be, but you are actually designed <laughs> like DNA to give up and quit, um, which is not super encouraging, right? But it is once you realize that if you can understand why you are designed to quit, you can overcome that and you can identify it, you can learn about it, you can push through it. But if you don't know that it's a part of your DNA, you'll never know that it's something that you need to push past. You'll just think it's a broken record that is playing in your head and will sabotage you. So um, you actually have uh, this, Seth Godin calls it your lizard brain. It's your amygdala. It's a prehistoric part of your brain that um, is responsible for fight or flight, for reproduction, for survival. And your amygdala loves for you to have a desk job, a nine to fiver, because that is super safe and you won't wind up homeless on the street in a cardboard box if you have a secure job that you punch the clock for. And so everything that we do and everything that we try to teach our teams to do really goes against this prehistoric part of our brain. Every living creature in the world has an amygdala. It's just, thankfully, we can learn about our amygdala and we can tell it to shut up. 
But basically, the idea of the lizard brain is this, that it's hungry, it's scared, it's selfish, it's horny, and that's its job. That's all it does. So it literally wants to keep you from doing anything courageous or outside the box because that could be dangerous. Well, we all know coaching isn't dangerous, <laughs> and um, the amygdala is pretty loud, um, but it is a super small part of our brain, and we can overcome it through massive action, and so referrals have been a way for me to help my coaches take that baby step of action in a non-threatening format um, so that they can get like a little bit of win, a win under their belt. And then, you know, what they choose to do from that point forward is really up to their own ambition, drive and determination, right? Like you can set up the environment, you can help them have that initial win, but you can't do it for them forever. Um, so, you know, that kind of helps weed out people who might be able to take a next step. But here's the thing about fear that I have come to embrace. And obviously like, Facing all the crap that we have in our family, inviting somebody to a challenge group is not really threatening to me. It's not cancer. So I don't give a crap whether people says yes, say yes or no. Like I want to work with the people who are wanting my help. I want to focus on the people who are with me, right? I know because our life really has been jeopardized at different points that um, inviting someone to be healthier is a blessing. So it doesn't scare me, but for the rest of my team who hasn't had that come to Jesus moment <laughs> where they're wrestling with the their mortality or their spouse's mortality or their child's mortality, inviting someone feels super scary. Um, so here's what I have come to embrace. Um, I don't even know if it was someone in this group or another group, but some other, you know, awesome, successful coach recommended Crash the Chatterbox. Phenomenal book. And there was this quote in there that says, you can either kick fear out of your heart or it will keep you out of the places God has prepared for you. And I truly believe that. So like if you are a person of faith on this call, you have to be even more diligent about fear in your life and stomping it out. Because that is whatever fear you are letting fester, you are basically agreeing with a lie. And a lie is, is not something that comes from your heavenly father, okay? So um, just know that if you are a person of faith, like fear is even a bigger deal for you, okay? So anyway, you can read that book if you want to. So here's the good news. What I'm about to share with you does take hard work <laughs> and a little hustle, but the good news is that anyone can choose to work hard. Um, it's not, I don't have to be, you know, um, I don't have to be Bonnie Engel or Melanie Metro to be successful. I don't have to have like, a, it really actually ticks me off when someone's like, oh, you're so lucky. Like, oh, you've had so much success in this business. And I'm like, what? oh, you just happen to be that kind of person who hit success club 20 or whatever. And I'm like, okay, <laughs> back the truck up. Like that took a lot of work, a lot of freaking hard work. And the good news is anyone can choose to work hard. I don't have anything special to offer anyone. I just choose to approach this from the standpoint of like, this is a million dollar business and I'm going to treat it as such. I'm going to work really hard and I'm going to trust the process. So um, I think that's important to communicate to our coaches because so oftentimes I think we try to dumb it down or, you know, oh, this is super easy. I think we need to raise the bar of expectation that it does take work. It takes effort um, and nothing worth having comes without it. But we can help our coaches silence fear through action. Sometimes those very first steps are the most difficult ones to take. Um, I want to share a real quick story and then I'll go into some meat and potatoes. But so the reason why um, referrals are just such a big part of my life, um, there have been a few pivotal stories, but I'll share one with you. Um, how, have any of you been to Maui? Anybody? Okay. Um, if you've been to Maui, there's this great, um, I hope it's still there, this great magic show uh, in Lahaina called Warren and Annabelle. And Warren is this like, I mean, it's a real intimate theater. It's all sleight of hand. 
Annabelle is the ghost who plays the piano. You go into this, you know, kind of um, living room with the big, you know, baby grand piano in there, and Annabelle will play any song, any request. I mean, it, it's hilarious. It's awesome, actually. And then you go and you have this phenomenal experience with Warren, and um, he told us at the end of the show, he's like, you know, we don't pay for ads at all. You know, this is our dream. To have this business here is our dream. And we rely on word of mouth. So whatever you can do to spread the word about what we are doing here would be greatly appreciated. And guess what? We had the best time at his show. So we were more than willing to be a part of his story. So we um, naturally tell people about Warren and Annabelle all the time. Anytime someone's going to Maui, we're like, oh my gosh, you got to go to Warren and Annabelle. Um, and so he literally was super intentional after delivering on his brand promise, right? Like he did an excellent show, excellent experience, customer service like crazy. And at the end, he asked for us to be a part of his success story. And we were more than willing to be a part of it because we had a great experience. I think that we can leverage that same kind of game plan in our challenge groups, whether they be free or full groups. But I think that we are placing, I mean, we should do ads, right? But like, there's also that warm market that comes from referrals that are, are even more powerful, I think, than some of the cold leads we get through running ads on our like pages. They certainly are more doable for our new coaches, right? And so we are all in the lead generation business. We know that. We, can't, we won't have any relationships to build if we don't have leads to develop. <laughs> so at some point, like, we have to get really good about asking people, like, who do you know that can benefit from what we're doing? We can't just beg for it, can't just pray for it. We have to intentionally ask for it. So in my kind of thinking ads, yes, I think there's, you have to do both, right? Especially at some point in your business, like I run ads mostly for um, my like page audience and my free groups. That's pretty much all I run ads for. But when you think about the duplication of that, ads do take time and money. They take a certain amount of education. They take um, a lot of trial and error. Like I've spent a lot of money trying to figure out how to do ads on Facebook. They are a little bit transactional, meaning, um, you know, you don't have a great chance to build a relationship through a three minute ad or a two, you know, whatever. Um, and they're a little bit shotgunny. <laughs> so like we try to build audiences, we try to find people who will want to hear what we have to say. But at the end of the day, like from duplication standpoint, like that's hard, right? That's hard to teach a new coach how to build an audience on a like page and how to run ads and all that other stuff. They have to have some kind of um, success in order to feel motivated maybe to do that. Referrals, however, anybody can do, even a brand new coach. Um, they take a level of consistency in your business for them to pay off long term. They take excellence in your approach, like you gotta deliver great customer service. They're more relational um, and they're targeted right? Because like you are basically being referred by a friend, somebody who has had a great experience with you and they up, oh, that's a nice spelling error. That's what happens when you put um, slides together at the last minute, but credibility, they give you, <laughs> they give you credibility because somebody else who knows you is referring you. And so that cold lead is really a little bit more of a lukewarm lead because someone's already edified you in the process of recommending you. So um, basically, this is about becoming a trusted advisor to the people who you have in your sphere of influence and then asking those people who view you as a trusted advisor to recommend your services. So um, I think Teamsy did a call about this, and these were like the four things that they felt were the secret sauce to becoming like a, a credible, trusted advisor, and I felt like they were so important just to touch on. You have to have chemistry, so you have to, you know, be able to relate to others, and that's where, you know, when we teach our coaches about forming, like, you can't shortcut that. You can't run an ad and not know how to form people and build relationships and relate to them. You have to develop that skill set. 
You have to have the character to show that you actually care. That's why all my referrals run through mostly free groups. Um, you have to show confidence that you're good at what you do, not perfect at what you do, but that you're good at what you do, that you bring a sort of passion to it. And consistency, like people, if they're going to trust us with their most intimate journey of their life and tell us their weight and give us their before pictures and show us their muffin top in a workout bra, like we better be committed to them. And it kills me when people like are in it for the short haul, haul after people have said yes to them. Okay, real quick, and then I'm going to show you examples. Vital process. We've all been talking about it. Newbie, participant, enthusiast, advocate to coach. Um, I think participant, enthusiast, and advocate are our most underutilized pipelines of referrals. In other words, um, I think last, the first uh, year and a half, I signed up, I'd say 90% discount coaches. And they do nothing. <laughs> and they probably felt a little bit threatened about being a discount coach and being on my team page and not knowing what that all meant. This year, I have been signing up 90% customers. I've been allowing them to be a participant. Some of those have become enthusiasts, which then start recommending our services. So that's helping us demonstrate consistency in Success Club because we're not outsourcing those success club points to people who aren't interested in building a business like we're helping foster the relationship right when they take a step toward advocate or coach like then we can transition them to duplicating the process but honestly like that has been a beautiful pipeline of future referrals for us this year um okay so what i'm going to show you is how i leverage our free our referrals for free groups for ourselves and for our disc for all of our coaches the reason why we do free groups every single month is because generosity kills a spirit of entitlement and i feel like we are so quick to be impatient about this business that we have to have a spirit of generosity to help temper that um, that's just my philosophy i want to help a lot of people for free so here's um a sample i just did this this month so you guys get to see what I'm doing like right here. Um, basically, I will make a post um, for my free group on both my personal page and my like page. Um, when I make that post, I will reach out to current customers and discount coaches or brand new coaches who are just a little bit tentative and pulling the trigger. And I will ask them, hey, I have a huge favor to ask you. Would you be willing to share this post that I just made about my free group on your personal page and say a few words about, you know, the experience so far? If anyone takes the next step, I'd love to help them. Um, I totally understand if you don't want to, but it would be a huge blessing if you'd spread the word. 90% of people I ask do that. Um, and so this had, for me, this is a lot, guys. 12 shares <laughs> is not so shabby. So let's see if I can pull this up here. Um, I also tell them, I will give you a sample of what people have shared in the past if you don't know what to say. Most people say, I'd love a sample because they just want to copy paste and move on. So you'll see um, like a lot of what they're saying is the same. Hey, I've done this challenge before and I loved it. My friend and coach Joy is offering a free seven day ab attack challenge starting up on Monday the 17th. It's organized through Facebook so you can live anywhere and participate. She'll give you the menu, shopping list, and exercise challenges. Let's do this together. Just click on the link in the post to join. So this went all over the place. Um, and so then these people jumped in to our free group. I'll give you a little peek of our, my, the free group you guys. Will you screen like, share that? Yes. If my free have, group? Well, yeah. Whatever you're talking about, if you want to screen share or. Were you Did you guys not see that? No. <gasps> Hang on. Oh, <laughs> dag nabbit. I thought you guys were seeing that. Hold on. I'm you're now like, understanding. Well, no, I get what you're talking about, but yeah, no, there hasn't been a. Hold on a second. Let me get it. <sighs> Technical issues. Hold on. I got to get back to it. 
The other thing, oh, my screen is frozen right now. Hold on. You're right. You're the, other, the other thing I'll talk about while I'm finding this post so I can screen share it again. Um, we have been doing a weekly email to all of our customers and in there, and I got this cleared through compliance, so I'll show you exactly how to do the verbiage. But we do a monthly referral drawing. Have you guys ever been to a business where they're like, we love referrals, and if you send a referral away, you'll be entered into a monthly drawing for whatever, whatever. Um, we started doing that. You cannot do it for coach enrollments, so it's important that I show you. Okay, here we go. I found it. It's important that I show you the right verbiage. Here we go. Oh my gosh. Do you see this? No. Um, are you pressing screen share? Yes. Nobody sees my screen right now. Hold on. Desktop, share screen. Can you see me now? Marion can. I can. I can see you, but I can't see your screen that you're sharing. Anyone else? Because Marion can see it. I see your screen. What the heck? Oh, hold on. <laughs> it's Brittany. Okay. So here's the post. It's a little video, whatever. And then like 12 shares, 20, uh, 3, 4, 5 likes or whatever. And then I always tell people, like, comment, I'm in below, click the group page, because that helps things go. So literally, and I'll make sure you guys have a screenshot of this so you can copy or whatever. But um, so, and I'll also screenshot the shares. You'll see that a lot of them use the same kind of endorsement script, and that's because I've told them exactly what to say. Because <laughs> why leave anything to chance? So if I have like a discount coach, um, for example, Allison, she's more of an advocate coach. Um, she, has a, she wants to get her Shakeology for free. She loves Beachbody. She doesn't really have huge, big goals at this point, but she was willing to share. She has a few people, I think three in the, in the group. Um, and so anyway, she, whoops. Hold on here, here we go again, sharing screen. So she um, is in the group, she's got people in the group, so like her belief level is going up because I'm kind of helping generate excitement. So here's my free seven day ab attack group that's going on right now. Um, move, why is my screen frozen? Here we go, 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 go. I still can't figure out why I can't see it. All I see is you ladies. Can everyone else see it? I don't everyone know. else can. Well, I'm glad, okay, good. <laughs> You're like, well, that's nice. Um, so anyway, I don't know why it's frozen here. I'm trying to reload. Okay, we have such great engagement right now in the group. And I really truly believe because we have Oh my gosh, there's a live video there. Um, I do a little giveaway. If they post a selfie, then um, I will draw a name <laughs> from, um, from all the names uh, for a hippie runner headband. So um, we have some great engagement here, but we also have some discount coaches who are super excited because they have people in the group. And so, you know, that kind of, ups their belief level. It's not threatening. It's free. And then the last thing I wanted to show you guys, and I will share with you like all the scripts on how I specifically ask people. So don't worry about that. But um, the last thing I want to show you is, let's see, desktop, share screen. God, I hope you guys can see this. Um, we do a monthly uh, or a weekly newsletter. And so this is the verbiage that I got approved from corporate. Um, if you are interested in doing a referral drawing, um, it's important that you make very bold um, that new coach enrollments are not eligible for 
any kind of drawing incentive. But so, um, and I start to include uh, names for people who have sent us referrals as the weeks progress. And so the hope is that then we go on our page and we do a drawing live and we make a big deal about that. Um, and you can do up to a $50 ra uh, raffle drawing. So one, you know, we ask people we know who are already challengers with us to share about the free group um, so that we can get into their circles of influence. Two, we ask our discount coaches who are kind of hesitant to lead on their own to share about our free group and we take the lead at building the relationship during the free group with that discount coach on the communication thread so that it's kind of a we do process of training. And then third, we are, you know, aggressively, I guess, asking or trying to promote referrals with our current client base just so that they know that we primarily operate off of referrals. Like <laughs> we are a mom and pop business, you know? And I would say we've gotten more business from that referral process than, um, than our ads. You know, we've gotten people to participate from our ads and I've gotten a few, a, you know, some business, but mostly, mostly from our hustle at trying to get people to spread the word. Um, yes, I will share that, Marion. And Joy, will you just keep speaking? I actually have to step away, but will you just keep speaking for the next six minutes and answer these questions if you don't mind? Yeah. And then I have to be pulled into a Jeff Hill meeting, um, so I, I apologize. But then also when I post this, do you mind posting just a couple of screenshots? Because on this recording, there's not going to be any at all. Um, there's no slides on my end. And so everything that you shared, I don't know what the heck happened. Um, but do you mind just like a couple of those, just screenshotting them and putting it in the post that I do of this recording? I'll just post the whole, the whole PowerPoint. Did okay. anyone see the PowerPoint? They yes. did, but I don't, I don't oh know God. why. I know. I'm like, I was hustling for a half hour for no I, apparent So there's a reason, I promise, and these ladies loved it. But if you don't mind answering them, their questions, you have six minutes. Yeah. And then this will just turn off. Is, is that okay? Yeah, that sounds great. You guys thank want you. To unmute because I, I hate talking to myself. Yeah, unmute. Talk to, talk to her. Joy, thank you so much. Okay. You did amazing. Bye. Okay. I'm, I'm looking at Joy's question. I might have the same question. I'm well, let me. I probably didn't type it out well because I was using my hand. So basically, I was asking so for these people, you're running the group so that they can invite if they're afraid or they don't want to run their own group. And then do you ask them, do you want me to take the referral? Like kind of what Stephanie did with you? Or do they normally, do they take the referral if they've had the people that get added in? Like, does that help kind of propel that for them? Yeah. So I always, um, it depends on the situation. If they are not signed up as a discount or as a coach at all, and they have a referral, I will go to them and be like, you know, Sally wants to sign up. Have you ever considered coaching or doing what I'm doing? Cause like you would have an instant customer. Because sometimes that gives people just that little extra confidence to think, oh my gosh, like I have friends who are interested. If they are a coach, then I always honor that referral to them. Um, and then what I'll do if it's just like a discount coach, and so I'm nervous about that customer not getting the TLC that they deserve, I will add them to my customer email MailChimp so that they are getting weekly communication from me. I will tell you that's been like the one pitfall of facilitating, you know, the occasional referral for discount coaches is that they don't keep up with their people. And so they naturally fade away. So does that make sense yeah. at all? Yeah, thank you. Uh, yeah, I'll leverage it all. Your referrals are just names. It's not like you get in the drawing for a $50 gift card if someone purchased a challenge pack. It is just that name to have to develop that relationship. No, I like yes. that. I, yeah. Okay. That's really cool. Yes, I do. Because I really, I mean, honestly, um, even if they don't purchase now, they might purchase oh. later. Yeah. And I mean, it's not just for names, like they have to make an introduction. Does that make sense? Like there has to be some kind of communication. So if someone's like, oh, you know, Sally Smith wants to hear from you and I message Sally Smith and Sally Smith doesn't respond. I don't, I wouldn't count that.
Does that make sense? But if there's a genuine conversation and I'm helping them in a free group and I'm developing a relationship, absolutely. That's a valuable lead to me. Oh, absolutely. It's just, it's someone to talk to. Like there's some kind of connection. They, to me, like that is someone that wants help more than, like you said, a like on your business page. You don't Mm -hmm. really, you know, people can be scrolling through and just hit like. And then obviously they never look at your page again unless they interact or yeah. like a connection. I like that a lot. Yep. And so anyway, uh, it's taken, um, it's taken a, a while. T- I mean, we all have some groups that are gangbusters and other groups that are like dead, but I will tell you the last two months have been, I don't know what the heck the secret sauce is, but it, I think it's a combination of removing barriers, you know, not asking them to sign up and make you their coach or whatever, but our free groups have had, you know, a hundred people plus in them the last two months. And so that's more referrals than I can, you know, like that's gonna, that has a residual effect Mm -hmm. because you're going to be following up with them for quite a while. Yes. Awesome stuff. So anyway, do you guys make sure that you, do you guys ask your coaches to do anything like that where they share your posts? share my post. I ask them to, here's, here's like with that, I have discount coaches that absolutely do not want to do anything. Like, I mean, almost to the point where they're like, if you keep asking me, I'm going to hurt you. So I will ask them, man, I'm like, you know, look at how much you love this. Look at this community. Don't you want to help people? And so I will get referrals that way. Or, and I tell them, I'm like, this could be a customer for you. And they don't, they're like, no. So I actually just actually had someone join my it's my paid group, but after talking to her, getting her name, talking to her forever, she finally committed. So, I mean, Great. yeah, but it's not, I, I am definitely not as good as you are. Um, I, well, I'll share my little, I have a referral script. And so I'll share that in the group and then, you know, give it a few months before you, you know, because it takes, takes consistency for Absolutely. it to start to gain momentum. All right, ladies. Thank you. Appreciate it. Bye. 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 Good to see you. Good to see you. Tail joy. <laughs> my band, my pebbles. That's super cute. I was like, is her hair really long? Oh, she's, she's gone. <laughs> hey girl, I love you. You look great. How is your life? You. How are you? This is this still recorded? I don't know. It's still recorded. <laughs> oh, We're just up. We're just hanging. How are you? Are you good? I'm so good. I'm yeah, I'm for the most part. <laughs> this good. Is Hello. Hi, Christine. That's one of your Facebook fans, Hazel. That's right. Oh my gosh, how old is she now? Six months today. Hazel, happy half birthday. Oh no. Oh, look at that face. It's been the best six months, huh? Good. Well, I'm glad to see mommy. Are you, I'm glad to see you which smiling. Which are you going on? The second one. <gasps> Me too. Thank God. No one else.